Today we're going to take this piece of firewood and turn it into a child's toy from the 1600s. Stick around. You can tell that I am not mm, real good at sawing straight, so first and foremost. All right, so we've got our blank cut out of a piece of firewood. Now, we're going to do this old school. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got a brace, hunk of scrap here. And we use that as our waste material here. We'll just see if one of these clamps big enough. Right. Okay, so we'll just clamp that down and we'll get our bit and brace here. And we will just, let's see, we're gonna just give ourselves some kind of a Oh, a reference line. Now we're just going to go around and put our pin on that and start going. Well, that's not very good. I just split that right the heck out, didn't it? Let's see if we can go in another spot here and see what happens. Nothing else. We'll just have to start over. We just need to go in a little further. Nope. Ah, it's not going to work. That's just going to split out. Well, this was going to be done completely with hand tools, but it seems that uh, the pieces are maybe too thin. I probably need to drill a pilot hole first. You can see what's happening here is that uh, the bit and brace is just causing that to split out. All right, what we're going to do next, we're going to take our, our blank and we're going to drill a series of holes. Right <laughs> So we've got our piece of firewood, slice of firewood that rather. We've got random holes drilled all the way around on the edge and we've got two holes drilled roughly in the center. Let's go back to the bench and I'll show you what we do next. All right, so we cut two pieces out of the same uh, hunk of firewood uh, using our Carter bandsaw mill. And we've got the same two holes in each one. And now we're going to put it all together. We're going to use some twine, rope, whatever you want to call this here. So, so how we're going to do this is we're going to go maybe about like so. And then let's just double that up. So we've got, oh, let's make that shorter just because I feel like doing nice round numbers. So we're going to do 30 inches and then we're going to double that up. So basically a total of 60 inches all together. Okay. Now, we're going to put a knot at one end here. And all we're going to do is we're going to thread it through one hole there. 
we're going to go through one hole of that and then we'll go out the back of this and we'll just loop it right back through okay it's a super super easy project simple project anybody can do uh, you know with your son or daughter um, kids of all ages right and believe it or not uh, a friend of mine was showing me this and this is a toy that dates back to the I believe to the 1700s 1600s and kids would just play with this for hours apparently I assume you just kind of wind it up like so wind it wind it wind it you just keep winding it yeah this works like shit what am I doing believe it or not I just caught a mouse I have no idea how I caught it but I heard something in the trash can and I just thrown something out in there there's a mouse in the bottom of my trash can no idea caught himself basically all right so I'll have to look up and see exactly how this is supposed to work I assume you just wrap it up I mean, apparently this would entertain children for hours I'm not I'm not no not sure if I buy that right at the moment because two sticks in this wheel isn't isn't doing jack for me all right first you don't succeed try try again right you never give up after the first failure you got to keep going as by golly if the people from the 1600s could make something like this 1686 or 1656 or I don't know Somewhere in that neighborhood is what I remember seeing. By golly, if they can do it, we can do it, right? That's right. Come on, we use modern tools for the most part here. And modern string. wonder what they used for string. What do you think they used for string back then? I, I, I'm curious. See what you guys think because, phew, well, I wouldn't know. All right, now that we've got the new string on, let's wind it up. You pull, and then let it go. And you pull, let it go. Well, there you go, guys. The next time your son or daughter is complaining about one of their gadgets running out of juice or the internet not working for them, take them out into the shop and make them one of these. 17th century toys and tell them this is how kids in the olden days used to entertain themselves. Thanks for watching. Remember, please like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next video.